Yeah, and I thought um, when we had success in the game, just being patient um, and our guys taking shots in rhythm and uh, just probing the defense. We got the ball inside to each one, too. We got the ball inside to Juwan, and I think that's important for us to uh, kind of get that inside outside. But we stepped up and made some shots. When we had tough, we had a couple stretches that were tough, and it really comes down to us and not really the opponent. And uh, we, we just, you know, we'll, we'll take hurried shots or we'll be casual with the basketball. And uh, if we do, when we keep the game simple, we, you know, we're pretty efficient and uh, pretty productive on the offensive end. DJ came in the second half and you had a nice comfortable lead, but still, given where he's been with that shoulder, going into Big Ten season, that has to be good for you to see that. Oh, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a great thing for us. You know, he's really battled. And uh, just to go out there and play with the shoulder problem. So for him to be able to make shots and, and stretch the defense with the way Juwan's playing inside, to go along with each one. And, and, and Ryan's been very steady. But you know, it was great for his confidence because uh, he is capable of doing that, of stepping up and making threes like that and being that consistent. And also, even though he got his shoulder banged a little bit, Jerome went back and it was good. He, had, he had eight points. He need, you, you talked yes. about this. He needed something like this. Yeah, he needed to go back into after he got injured to make a shot. He was able to do that. So he, you know, he made a couple perimeter shots um, tonight. But you know, he just has to keep, you know, making improvements. And it, it, it's a tough adjustment. And he, he's done a good job in school, and you know, he's done a good job in practice. And but it's it's, it's a grind, and it's really going to you know turn into a grind here once you get into Big Ten play. But um, you, you can't, you know, you can't take your success from shooting the basketball. There, there's other parts of the game, and I, I think Tyrone's finding that out you know, defensively and taking care of the basketball and doing the little things. Um, he can help us win even when the ball's not going in, but there's no doubt it helps you when, when you do make shots. Matt, it seemed like Bird um, did a pretty good job getting the ball into Juwan from the top of the arc. Is that anything you guys did specifically for activity? Uh, not for them. You know, it's something we always work on. Um, you know, we run motion and we always try to go high-low with people that are skilled, not necessarily the traditional high-low when you have a four and a five, um, even though he's playing that position. Uh, we always want our guys, when they catch the ball on top, to look in. And sometimes guys are going to allow the ball to get in directly. Um, sometimes they're going to take that away. When they take that away with Juwan's length, you know, you can always go over the top. But I, I just thought we had more of an awareness tonight in terms of uh, knowing what's going on and, and getting the ball inside, and DJ obviously did a good job with that. Well, that's you know that's one of the most important you know segments of the game, the first five minutes of the second half, and that's what we always talk about at halftime of um, having energy going out, you know, trying to get the ball. Um, in scoring positions. Um, obviously, if your defense can create some offense, it's definitely going to help you, and that happened. But when it, when it was, when we did have to play in the half court, I thought our guys made some pretty good decisions. Coach, it seemed like in past years, Juwan was almost reluctant to be that star scorer. It seems mm -hmm. like you're, I'm seeing a change in him mentally, and like he's really embracing, he's recognizing what kind of talent he has. Can you see that this season? Yeah, well, you, you know, he's, he gets more opportunities, you know, this year. And, and so he's, he gets um, more opportunities to, he's getting more rebounds, so he finishes plays more, he comes in off the break, and we really encourage him to shoot all those trail jump shots when he's in rhythm. Um, he probably takes one a game that's not in rhythm, um, but, but you're going to have that. I, I want him to be aggressive. I want him to look to score when he gets the ball in the perimeter, look to score when he gets the ball inside. And then you always, you know, you always play through um, your scores, and we play through each one in Juwan. And then, you know, I think guys can really, you know, feed off of those guys. And once Jawan kind of recognizes things and continues to, to make improvements in that area, I think he's going to become a better all-around player because he, he's not used to getting that kind of attention on a game-by-game -game basis. And now he's starting to get it. He's recognizing some things, and he's moving better. And he's not a guy you anchor. You just stick inside, and he stays inside. And we struggle a little bit in Indiana State because we try to do a little bit of that in the second half. But when you move him around, and he gets some runouts, and he gets some putbacks, and then he gets some jump shots and some pull-ups and some post-ups. When he does a little bit of everything, that's when he's the most dangerous. Now, at the start of the second half, Lou seemed to really kind of take command of your offense and just kind of, kind of 
I'm talking about what role he played in that big run you made. Yeah, well, seven was eight assists from the second. Yeah, well, Lou did a good job, I, I thought, of kind of pausing with his dribble. Lou's very effective when he lands on two feet and just kind of jumps and keeps his dribble alive and, and kind of goes back and forth with the basketball. But he's under control while he's doing it. When Lou then attacks off those ball screens and gets to the basket, he's a threat. Now his passing is going to come into it. But when he's dribbling just to pass, they're going to play him for that. So I think Lou's got to have a balance. Um, and I really talked to those guys about shooting shots and rhythm. And Lewis took some perimeter jump shots today and made one. And, you know, he's got to continue to do that. But shoot him in rhythm and then get there. But at the start of the second half, his passing um, was great. You know, he got the ball where it needed to be, made good decisions, and just, you know, was a good kind of floor leader. I think there's a, as a coach, you're always, you're always looking for the improvement. You know, it's not, um, you know, you're not really looking to, to throw a party. You know, you're looking to move to the next game and keep those guys on edge and realize, um, our experienced players realize, you know, how tough it's going to be to go on the road and win, period. You know, whether that's in conference or out of conference, it's tough to win road games. And, you know, Michigan is a, is a very good team. Um, you know, playing you know playing good basketball at this time of the year, and really been you know successful in non-conference play, and uh, the, you know the things you know you like. I like the unselfishness at times. You know, I think we have an unselfish group as, as people, um, but you know when we're, when we play unselfish, I think we're a pretty good team, and we, we have to continue along those lines. You know, I get upset about the defense, and then we, we hold people to 52 points. And I'm still upset about I can pick out every basket that got scored. Um, but, but it's still, you know, we're, we're making strides in that area. Uh, but we still have a um, – they missed some shots, Fort Wayne did. They just missed some shots in the second half. And we were fortunate that we made some of them. So we, we got to do a better job of sticking with people and sticking with the scouting report and um, continue to take care of the basketball. Um, but we, we, we have a long way. We have a long way to go, but you know but who doesn't? About a month and a half ago, a couple of times, some of our questions are the same questions that you have. You've played 12 games now. Have any of those questions been answered, and are some of them still unanswered? Well, I think we, we, you know, we had to adjust a little bit with John not being in. I, I thought John really gave us a spark coming off the bench. You know, that, it's, it's great to bring a guy in like that that shoots a high percentage, that is aggressive, that looks for a shot. Um, and we need those guys to do those things. We need Ryan Smith and DJ Bird and, um, to look for their shots and, and to be aggressive. We need Lewis and Kelsey to be on the hump with the basketball, but also, you know, make, you know, smart plays. But, no, I, I think that, you know, our identity offensively, you know, I think the questions were, you know, where are you going to go when you lose such a key player? And we know where we're going with it. And I, I don't think we, we get into that third guy, even though somebody has to be the third guy from a statistical standpoint. I mean, there's not a, you know, a team in America that doesn't have a third score. Um, might not be very high, but everybody has one. It's like they have a fourth one. And on and on and on. But we have to play through those guys. It doesn't necessarily mean they shoot the same amount of shots every single game. Um, it's got to be there. And so I, I think our guys are starting to understand our offensive identity of playing through those guys but in their own respects, they have to be aggressive but also under control and make sure they get touches, especially Jawan. The ball's got to go inside. And when the, because when the ball goes inside, people have to make a decision. And, you know, we got to let some other people, you know, make our decisions for us. But um, I think from a defensive standpoint, we, we, we've done a solid job pressuring the ball, not a great job. Um, we got to get everybody to follow our rules on a consistent basis. We have too many breakdowns. And when you get into league play, you know, in, in the Big Ten, you know, you, they will expose those breakdowns. So I, I would say that's kind of where we are from an offensive and defensive standpoint. How about the job Kelsey did on, uh, on games? Well, I, I thought, you know, Kelsey's done a good job defensively, you know, for us. You know, he's, he's guarded a lot of different guys and really went out and taken that challenge of guarding, um, you know, a good player on the other team. Sometimes it's a point, sometimes it's a you know, two, three, sometimes it's four. And, you know, he's a very versatile, you know, defender. And against Indiana State, you know, getting 11 rebounds, you know, was great. Anytime you can get somebody in the backcourt to give you 11 rebounds, that really helps you. Um, but he's, he's got um, he's got to help us offensively and just in terms of making good decisions. 
when he makes good decisions and he defends the way he has been, um, he, he's a huge asset for our team. Um, but, but he's got to make, you know, just some simple plays. When he, when he keeps things simple, um, he really, it really helps us. Okay, thank you.